Yeah, it's time to get up. Uh, my cat Bubbles is getting very old and 14 years old now. She, she drinks that much water is just crazy in the last probably this whole year. Get stuck in the eggs first. It's raining again, Bubbles. Come to say hello. For lunch today, we've got a coffee, water, some hot chili, avocado, beans, chicken, and rice. Yummo. I really like avocado. Yeah, avocado's really nice. I decided to buy some creatine on eBay. One kilo of creatine. I've used it before. It can make me bloated. That's the only thing I don't like about it. and It doesn't always agree with me. I get pains in the stomach. But I know it's, it's a supplement that's proven to give you bigger pumps, more energy. And it's a guaranteed, like it's the best supplement for the gym that you can get that's proven that that can be beneficial and works. I thought I'd go for a walk. You can't just stay home all day. Maybe a little bit of a jog, but I got a fair bit of exercise yesterday. But I can see it's good to get out, be with nature. Ducked over there in the water. Anyway, I, I've been thinking like, like I want to step up my game if I lose some weight a bit. Like you gotta just, you know, say you've tried to lose weight, and now you gotta just take things a step further, be a bit more stricter, reduce your portion size. You know, you gotta be regular on the toilet. Avoid food that makes you bloated. Try to keep the protein. Fats and carbs good, but you got to stay away from bad food. And it is, like I find even rice is pretty good because it digests me really quickly. I'll have to. I plan on reducing how much uh, bread I eat and, and eating peanut and almond spread. That will make a big difference. I've noticed, like lately, I, I have a coffee in the afternoon. And it, it tends to make me really feel dehydrated, so I'm starting to get over drinking coffee. It's not good to do that. See, there's like heaps of ducks over here. I've watched a few videos about people taking uh, too much caffeine pre-workouts. But I've tried that before, like 10 years ago, even bought some. It, it does boost your energy levels in the gym, but it's no good for your heart. It's no good for you in the long term. And in the long term, it affects your sleep. So if, if you're not sleeping very well, you're not recovering, it, it's, it's not good. Like, you know, you either go to bed and you've got your heart pounding and you can't sleep, you feel too jacked up. You feel like you've got to exercise a lot to tire yourself out. Or you, or you go to sleep and then you wake up in the middle of the night having to pee. And then you can't get back to sleep. You just feel jacked up again. So, and, and you can also, like, you can feel really up. And then the next day you feel really down. And then you feel like you turn back to the caffeine again to boost you. And it doesn't work as good the more you take it. It depends on how much you take, how often you take it, how immune you are to it, how long you've been taking it for, how well rested you are. There's many factors, so I, I find like it's much healthier to just stick to tea and coffee. But I have, like I've said, co coffee can make you dehydrated. But if you take it with, with like a good diet of salt, and potassium from, from the bananas have plenty of water at the gym it can help like 
you don't feel as dehydrated but some days like you can feel dehydrated if you're not exercising much you feel it can make you feel tired or more but one thing i've noticed in life you can sort of we can all sort of crave to do something and until we do it, it we sort of can't you know get out of the system we sort of got to do it to get it out of our system and the only way to you like you gotta the more you, the more you think about it the more you're influenced by other things the more you want to do it so you gotta you gotta realize that some things can you know we all crave to do something and the only way to not do it is for a good period of time to pass and then you've moved on to craving something else like i've learned like you can crave to do something and you can be craving to do something that you don't realize is not that good to do you've got to realize that whatever you're craving to do comes with ups and downs and that you've got to weigh it up whether you can live with the, the downsides <laughs> I've got a, a mobile app that I own. I'm contemplating on selling it. I'm not sure at this stage. You guys can check it out. It's a, it's like an audio app, a bit like YouTube. I show I show you um what it looks like. You can see it here. It's got you got down here the other sections play and pause and all that it's called play my audio uh, honey soy stir fry with chicken and rice this might be too much rice <laughs> when you're on a diet mmm It's last meal time. We've got two eggs, chicken and rice with some beans and hot chili sauce on top. Ooh, it's hot. A, a YouTuber that I found a couple of days ago that you might want to check out is Vince. This guy is so funny, especially this hot dog one. I just watched it before. It, it is funny. It's definitely worth subscribing to and checking this guy out. Good night, guys.